Continuing right along with my videos on Affinity Publisher, I'm continuing the theme of developing your ebook. Now, I know you can't export from Affinity Publisher into an EPUB format, but you can create an ebook. Let me show you. Now, an ebook is as simple as um, exporting to a PDF format. Let me open that up, and there's your PDF format. We've got the pages all neat, and you'll notice that the hyperlinks for the table of contents work. I don't know if I can get it there. Work in the in the um, Adobe Publisher, Adobe Reader. That's just Reader. So we'll close that down because I'm not working on that one but that's what it is and there's the affinity publisher document now that's loaded into here i did have dual master page a master page with two layers here two pages facing pages but i disable facing pages put them all into single pages because it's that sort of document now on page 26 i did use this document as an example some time back of how to flow text around and you'll see it there an invisible element now that's a previous um, video that I've done but you can see the <laughs> the little umbrella shape is there and the umbrella handle that you can see through so if you come across that text if you happen to be reading the book and this is the complete book I don't mind putting it up here um, it's my book and it's my copyright and it's got my ISBN number in here somewhere there we go ISBNs so I know where it comes from if I ever see it again but you're free to use it as a template just remove my text and insert your text it's got a table of contents there and what will we find find my way back get rid of that master page it doesn't use the master page for anything the master page just happens to be there because I originally created facing pages with a master page but what we're left with is that now that's fairly straightforward the text has been flowed into it let me go down here and you can see the text is auto flowed I've got a previous video talking about how you auto flow text through a document and it creates as many pages automatically as you want that's from an, from an option that's down here on the bottom of the screen I don't know if you can see it it's not actually there at the moment but that's okay that's in another video so here we are we've got our document ready to export and I've got the two, these two documents are both on my download site on my web page. So let's go to Affinity Publisher, File, and I want to export this time. Now, exporting to a preset PDF digital high quality. There's a reason for this because there's a number of them there for PDF. Some allow hyperlinks and some don't. So be careful of that preview export when complete it shows the exported PDF in the PDF viewer Adobe uh, Adobe reader for those familiar with Adobe okay the more option you can see in here include layers include hyperlinks now everything in the document as you just saw when I opened it up the PDF document um, is there and it's nice and neat it's in a PDF so that PDF would in theory convert through a PDF to EPUB converter a good one don't waste your time with low quality cheap converters or online converters most online converters are rubbish unless you've got just plain text don't bother trying to convert them I'll just close that and I'll cancel that because we've already done it I just wanted to show you what the document looks like 
in its EPUB format, they're single pages, right? And you export that to a PDF document, and the PDF document, of course, you should know this, and I'll be done with that. What I want is the finder. Now, that PDF document that's there, you can open that. Open with... Well, you can open it with Kindle. You can also open it with books and a number of other things. Let's see what it looks like in Kindle. The Kindle Reader will come up any moment and we'll see if it opens it in Kindle. Now, what's wrong with that, I ask you. Marriage in a cold climate and the hyperlinks work. Now, if you want that book in Kindle, that's as good as it gets. You could put that anywhere. People with Kindle format could read that. Let's exit that. Quit Kindle. Open with... Let's see. Apple Books. There it is there. Look at that. It opens it up as a PDF. But it's still there. Chapter 1. That's in Apple's Books. So you can distribute your PDF to almost any platform. I've got most of them on here. Well, the ones that are usable. Certainly Kindle. There's Microsoft Word if you really want to go down that road. Uh, anyway, there we go. So that's all there is to this exercise. I just wanted to show you that Adobe Publisher is a very good um, a very good publishing platform. If you're publishing and distributing <clears throat> manuals or how-tos or documents, it's great. The only place you might run into some problems with EPUB books is getting your publication into Kindle, um, uh, KDP or Ingram Spark or those ones. But most of them accept PDF. So for the time being, if you're doing PDF, make sure your PDF is a straight book. Now that's not reflowable text. It's not fixed format. It's, mm, it's probably fixed format. Let's put it that way. Because how that would go on an iPad or an iPhone or any other small device, I don't know. You'll have to try that. Suck it and see, as they say. And there we go. Exporting your document to a PDF that has a table of contents and images. And you can see, remember, that on page 26, find my way down to it. There's the reflowable text. Let's have a look in the P. Let's have a look in the PDF again. PDF. Let's go to 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 23, 4, 5, 26. There's your reflowable text, page 26. And it flows nicely around the umbrella shape. Now remember I said that's from a different exercise, a video that where I demonstrated that. That's actually not part to anything to do with the book. There's no need for an umbrella to be in there. But there you go. It's that nice. So don't for a minute think that Affinity Publisher can't do 99.9% .9 of everything you want. Thanks for watching.